So hello and good evening, uh, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I have a fun example for you. What we are going to go through is an IoT scenario, like Internet of Things scenario. I have a device in front of me that is streaming data through Azure into Power BI and we will walk a little bit about uh, um, through the scenario. I will show you the different components before it gets to Power BI and then we will focus on the video to actually move the data from Azure into Power BI using Stream Analytics, okay? For a lot of you, perhaps this is not a relevant uh, scenario, but I think it's a fun thing to watch. And uh, there are a lot of IoT devices out there that you can actually connect to Azure and then play with it. So if you're interested in that, just stay tuned. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about is how this thing works, the actual setup. And this is a basic Internet of Things Azure architecture. Let me show you. What we have here is a device. I have it on my desk. And uh, what happens is when it's sensitive to touch, so when I touch a button, it will send a message to the IoT hub that I have set up on Azure. And then from the IoT Hub, it will send the data through Stream Analytics. And the good thing is about Stream Analytics is that it's a really cool program, actually, or piece of software, where it will actually allow you to manage your data before storage. And you can do a lot of fun things with it. But this is not a Stream Analytics video. Don't worry about it. I will go through just the basics for Stream Analytics. And then when a Stream Analytics is on this it's processing job, what you can do is actually send the data to Power BI to SQL and machine learning or, you know, these big blobs, storage blobs, if you have managing tons and tons of data. Um, so, yeah, we will focus actually on this part. So I have all this set up and what I'll show you is how to set up stream analytics to send that data to Power BI and how the data actually flows live. I'm going to be a little bit careful about setting up new things because it might break and I don't want it to break again. So um, I will show you the steps, but I will not recreate everything, okay? So let's begin. Okay, so here we are in um, Azure and uh, what we're looking at is a stream analytics job. And it is very simple, actually. They've made this brilliantly. You have input, uh, to Stream Analytics, which in this case is, of course, the IoT Hub that we set up. We have queries that actually transform the data. You can clean it, you can route it, you can add it, you can, you know, do, do tons of stuff. It's, it's just fun. And then you have your outputs. And in here, I have at the moment three outputs, uh, one to Power BI and two to Azure SQL. Okay, but the one that we are interested in is Power BI. So the first thing to know is that, you know, you see that you cannot click on this. The reason for that is because the job is running. And just to be able to, to do this a little bit fast, I won't stop it and start it because it takes forever. So what we're going to do is how to configure by looking at it. Okay, so we'll click on Power BI and this is what you need to do. So as you can see here, it says outputs can be edited while the job is running. So if you want to add or remove or re-authenticate or whatever, you need to stop the job. But we won't do that. We will continue. So there are a few things you need to do. You need to put the group space, select the default if you don't have any specific. Uh, you give the data set a name and you give the table name a name. You call it anything. And then the only thing you will need to do is it will show up here and uh, authorize um, your account to Power BI. So what you need to do is to create your, to add your Power BI credentials. And then you let it run and it will either say it failed or didn't if it couldn't authenticate. So you can click here to verify that everything is working correctly, right? So you will go to Power BI, it will check and say, okay, hi, is everything okay? Yes or not. And then delete, you can only delete this when you stop the stream. So this is very, very easy. And it's the only thing you need to do in streaming analytics, okay? 
So you just configure it like that, it takes like two seconds. And then stream, stream analytics will start sending data to Power BI. So powerbi.com the service. So let's go to powerbi.com and see how that is configured. So here's the thing. Um, now we are in Power BI, we have click on my workspace on data sets. And if you want to create a streaming data set, what you normally will do, you go here to create a streaming data set. And now you have here this Azure Stream Analytics. And as you can see, you don't need to do anything. This is amazing. So Azure and Power BI has created everything for you. Okay. So if you've done everything right, and if your device is sending data, because it happened to me a few times that it wasn't sending anything and then the table was not created, it has to send data, then you will see it here. Okay, and you will see there is a streaming data set. I think it's a pity that you cannot, you know, differentiate it, but you can see it because it doesn't have the refresh button because this, you know, is live connection. So it's connecting all the time. So you have it here and then you can click in there and say, okay, I want to do a report. And then you can just put in the answer time, the value, make it a little bit bigger as we always do. And here are the, the results right there. Okay. Uh, now, if I click on the device I have in front of me, this thing should update. And to verify that my device is actually working, I have this pretty program that when I click something, you see, it will tell me I receive everything and the IoT Hub also receive it. Okay. So we know that we are actually sending data. So once you have the data set working, you just create a, you know, chart that you like, you pin it to a live dashboard. And then when we go up here to dashboard, we should see our device live. So if I click on something, it can take a few seconds. But you can see that it's moving. Come on. Yeah. So let's put this both side by side so you can see what's going on. So I click and then it should move in there. You see, click again. And it moves again, click again. And it moves again. So it works, it works perfectly. It is a super fun project to do and it has extremely useful industrial and commercial applications. Okay, there's a lot of things that can be done with this. So you can, of course, pin this thing. Um, let me put the report. Here's the report. You can put, pin this report to uh, web and then you can see how things are moving and you can measure anything you like. Okay. So this is super cool. If you want to know more about this, they have a fairly good uh, documentation here. I will post a link on the description box about a job that you could actually implement in Azure and show. You could show your customers or you could just do it for fun to learn and then perhaps implement some things on your job. And you don't actually need a physical device. I do have a physical device with me, but you don't need it. You could actually use a piece of software that just, you know, imitates the messages to an IoT hub. And that is a quite fun demonstration to do, you know. So here it explains everything. How you set up streaming analytics, how you set up Power BI, how you do your streaming. You know, you don't need to do this anymore. You, you had to do it before and now this is done for you. And uh, they have some good to know information here, I would say. And th these are the limitations and best practice for these kind of scenarios. 
And uh, they say that Power BI can be called roughly one per second. And that was a little bit what you can do. I've never managed to have like one second. It takes like one and a half, two seconds perhaps to update, which is perfectly fine for this scenario that I'm using it for. Uh, and then, well, just just go through it yourself and try it on. I think it's a, it's a fun project to have and to learn a little bit more about um, Internet of Things uh, and Azure and Power BI. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the, the video. I know that this is not very relevant for, for a lot of you, but I think it's, it's a fun project to work with in case you have some, some time over. Great. Okay, so this is actually all for today. Remember, on Friday, 50th anniversary of DAX Fridays, and we are going to celebrate it. So make sure to stay tuned, 2 o'clock. Okay, so DAX Fridays, I continue publishing 2 o'clock. But uh, this is a wrap for now. I'm a, a little bit late because the device didn't work, so <laughs> I have to rush to publish this. But um, if you like the video, let me know by liking it or sharing it with people that would like to see it. Uh, comments, questions, suggestions as usual, comment box or the social channels listed below. And uh, make sure you subscribe. I publish Power BI videos every Monday, Friday and Wednesday. And uh, yeah hit the bell, hit the bell for, to receive notifications. Bye.